Hey, so today I'm doing like a cotton candy swirl design. Um, the inspiration picture I'm using is by um, Nailed by Knee. She's on Instagram. I found this picture. So that's what I'm following today. And this first nail here is kind of my practice nail to figure out my technique on how I wanted to do that. So I really didn't show doing my whole nail on this one because it took me kind of a long time because um, I was just like playing around with stuff and seeing what would work best and how to get the like you know effect that I wanted it to be. So the method that seemed to work the best is laying down the white acrylic and while it's still wet I just took the blue and the pink and pat it in random places and kind of let it just blend out how it was like it would kind of just like dissolve into the white and look like watercolor like that's really what this reminds me of watercolor it's so pretty and then i just patted like around the colored areas just to blend it a little bit more with the white and there you have it that's how i did this design And I wanted to say thank you to you guys because I just hit 400 subscribers and I'm just so excited about it. Thank you guys for coming back every week and liking my videos and commenting and just being here. And I really appreciate it. Thank you for liking the sets I do and wanting to see them and just enjoying my content. So thanks for being here. I also recently got a comment saying my audio was really quiet and they wished it was louder. So I'm trying to work on that this video. I'm kind of like yelling into my headphones. Um, I always do the voiceovers with my headphones and when I play it back, it sounds a lot louder to me. I listen to my videos without the headphones and it definitely is a lot quieter. So if you're watching any of my previous videos and you're having trouble hearing me, put on some headphones or something i'm really sorry i didn't even know because i've literally never turned on one of my videos without headphones so i'm really sorry about that i'm gonna try to keep the volume louder and yell a little bit more so if it sounds like i'm being dramatic it's because i'm yelling <laughs> After I finished up with all the colors, I'm laying down some clear acrylic because I'm going to be sticking some glitter into that all over the nail while it's still wet. And the glitters I'm using for this came in the Emily Susanna Poly Gel Kit. Um, it's like one of the blue ones that's in there that's super pretty. I love them so much.
And then I'm just encapsulating all of my nails with Mia's Secret Clear Acrylic and I'm just showing you guys one nail because I feel like it's kind of boring watching clear acrylic because you can't see it. After all of that, I'm going in with my e-file and just going around my cuticles to make them flush so that my nails don't have any lifting and I just go over my nails quickly. And then I do the rest of my filing with my hand file, get the shape perfect and just make sure everything looks all nice and smooth. And then I put some top coat on my nails and I took out the charms I was going to use. I was going to use these gems right here but I just didn't like any of the placements I was picking out. I really liked how it looked plain so I just kept them plain other than this charm right here. I got this charm from AliExpress 
and used McCart's gem glue to apply it. And this is how my nails turned out. I really love them. I think they're so pretty. Like pink is one of my favorite colors and I just love the cotton candy theme. It looks so pretty. Oh my goodness. But thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video.